Hello, is my voice clear? Yeah, it's audible. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Dr. Rajesh Shah is the assistant professor at the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering and at MNIT Jaipur, Rajasthan, India. And he has worked as a GRF in IIT Guwahati, uh, Assam, and worked as an assistant professor in School of Electronics Engineering, VIT AP University, Amravati, Andhra Pradesh. Currently, he is working as an assistant professor in the Department of EC, MNIT Jaipur, Rajasthan from February 2022 till date. His research in interest includes modeling and simulation of nanoelectric devices, biosensors, MEMS, and he has published more than 35 journal papers in various reputed journals like IEEE transactions on electron devices and etc. And he is also the reviewer of various IEEE transactions, IEEE EDL, IET journals, and Sprinter journals. So I request Rajesh Saha sir to start with your sessions, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, good morning, all the participants and, and the your organizing committee. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are Hello? audible. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Yes. See, then in the last lecture, that means yesterday, we have discussed the your the what is the deep introduction of the fin fate and the tunnel fate and statistical. A simulation analysis of the statistic uh, analysis of the various electrical parameters. See the today topic is the modeling strategies in FinFET. See the modeling means what? Simply just the uh, means uh, the mathematical model to understand the to understand the physics of the device. The model. What is the importance of the modeling? Because we have to understand the means the your whatever the physics is there inside the device that we can understood by using the analytical modeling. See, like this, the what is the importance? The importance is if we have the uh, modeling of the device, then we can apply this model to the circuit. Like the if we have the model for the your Denkine or the surface potential or the threshold voltage. This parameter we can again use for the, the circuit analysis. But today lecture I will cover only the analytical modeling of the fin fit. And in this, we discuss the analytical modeling of the surface potential, threshold voltage, and the subthreshold swing. Those are the topics that we will cover. This is the today's outlines of the presentation. See, uh, to, in today lecture, I will cover the dual material gate fin fit. That means how to model the analytical modeling of the dual material gate fin fit and the next uh, the like the your people material gate fin fit also and these are the content first we will discuss what is dual material gate device and what is people material gate device then uh, i'll show the structure of the dual material gate fin fit and the your people material gate fin fits then the analytical modeling of this electrical parameters like the surface potential and the threshold voltage will be shown in details uh, for the DMG and the TMG things. Then followed by the conclusion and the feature work. See the dual material gate, uh, as the name suggests that in this case, you have to use the two different gate material. Suppose in the DMG structure, in the DMG structure, the two metal gate, one is M1, which will be present near the source, and another uh, material, M2, which will be present near the gate. But the work function of this M1 and M2 are defined because these are two defined gate material. Like suppose the one gate material is phi M1, another one is a phi M2. Then we can this arrangement is result in a two defined fat voltage under M1 and the M2. 
and for this pan channel device this 5m1 must be greater than 5m2 see due to this presence of this dual material that means two different work function you will get a step potential and which in which your reduces the short channel effect and enhance the your transconductance that means enhance the your dendrite also see, this is the your conventional structure of the this is the one mosfet structure the mosfet structure of the dual material gate mosfet as you can see in this case two different two different work function one is m1 another one is m2 is present near the source and the then respectively but the work function of this phi m1 is greater than phi m2 see the figure one b shows the surface potential flow as you can see, see what is the advantage of this type of circuit of this type of structure see in this case although you are increasing in this case although you are increasing the drain bias suppose you are increasing the drain bias from 0 0.25 to 1.75 volt see that this minimum potential whatever the minimum potential is there near the source that potential not changes by significant amount see this minimum potential the whatever the threshold voltage is there the threshold voltage again it is a function of the minimum potential that means if there is no that much of changes of the your minimum potential near the source then your threshold volts also not changes by that much of significant amount. See, when you increase the drain bias, the threshold voltage also not changes by significant amount. That means, as we have already uh, means in the first lecture, I think already we have uh, means learn about the what is threshold voltage roll up or the DIGL. Like this, in this case also, uh, the threshold voltage not changes along with the changes in the your drain to source bias. The there is improvement in the threshold voltage flow. Similarly, the DIGL, the drain in this barrier lowering also low for such type of DMG structure. See, like this, uh, like the your if you increase the drain bias, uh, the hot air effect, hot air effect also improves for such type of dual material gate device. See, this whatever we have discussed, this is for your uh, the DMG MOSFET. Okay. See, similarly in the TNG. In the TNG, there are three different, as the name suggests that, there are three different gate material, like M1, uh, which is near the source, M2 is between source and the drain, and M3 is near the drain. And the work function value is like this, high M1, high M2, and the high M3. And the length will be suppose L1, L2, and the L L3. So like this, in the TNG structure, you can observe two different step potential will be developed. See, one thing, um, you know down that in between this whatever the metal you have considered this m1 and the m2 so why it happens why this minimum potential not changes because in between the m1 and the m2 if you think about the device physics also in between m1 and the m2 one depletion region will form if one depletion region will form then it will increase the drain bias it will not affect the this it means this potential which is present near the source it will affect only this between the junction whatever the your uh, potential is there between the source and the between the m1 and the m2 this region will be affected it will increase the your vds however if you uh, near the source region this uh, potential is not affected that's what the minimum potential not changes like this if we observe the this um, triple material gate it has the better characteristics compared to the again your single SMG means simply the single material gate. That means it is the conventional device and DMG means dual material gate. So like this, this is the your triple material gate device and whatever the structure is shown figure 2A, this is your triple material gate MOSFET. Similarly, the surface potential also shown in this case as a function of your VDS. Uh, sorry, this is the comparison of the your triple material, dual material, and the, uh, your SMG, that means single material gate device. As you can see, uh, the M1, which is placed near the source, similarly, M3 is also placed near the drain, and the M2, which is placed between the source and the drain region. Like this, uh, in this case, as you can see, there are two step potential. There are two step potential in case of the triple material gate. However, if only one step potential is there in the dual material, in this case also, there will be two, your depletion region will be there. Of course, the depletion region is there between the source drain and between the your source channel and the drain channel. But there will be some depletion region will be there between this M2, M3 and between this M1 
M2 also. When you increase the drain bias in this case also, whatever the your potential is there between the M2, M3 and the M1, M2, that potential will be affected. That depletion region will be affected. And this uh, that's why the minimum potential will not change in case of the triple material grade device. And this type of device, the triple material grade again, it is what again it is what your it is more favorable compared to the your dual material grade or as well as the your SMG, that means single material grade device. Because in this case, you will get the better short chain characteristics or your better your uh, means the transconductance of the drain kind compared to the dual material grade device or single material grade device. See, like this, um, next we'll discuss the structure of the DMG and the TMG FinFET. See, the today topic we'll discuss the analytical modeling, but uh, before going to the analytical modeling, I would like to show the structure and I would like to, what is, what is the means the electric field that I will show the comparative analysis of this DMG and the TMG FinFETs. As you can see, this is the uh, this is the FinFET structure. This uh, figure 3A is the DMG FinFET and figure 3B is the your TMG, that means triple material grade FinFET. In this case, like the MOSFET, this, uh, these are the uh, material M1 and the M2, which are present near the source and the gain respectively. And your SiO2, which is considered as the oxide, is wrapped over the whole film. And this is the silicon material. Silicon material is present over the whole film. Similarly, in case of the your TMG, these are the gate material M2, M1, and M3. These are the this is shown, and the length is your L1, L2, and the L3. See, these are the various uh, the, your work function value that you have considered in the during the simulation. As you can see, in the TMG, the phi M1 is larger. 4.77 electron volt, similarly phi M2 4.4, like this phi M3 is your 4.1. Similarly, DMG is your, these are the work function below, but in the SMG, we have considered only single work function, that is your 4.77 electron volt. So this is the diamond, this is the figure, this is the mean structure of the DMG and the TMG, that means dual material gate and the triple material gate print structure. See, before after that what we have considered these are the dimension see before doing the analytical modeling we have made one comparative study but in in this today's presentation i have only shown this electric field only although we have compared other parameter also like the rf analog parameter or the your dc parameter also but uh, today lecture i will show only this electric field and this electric field is the horizontal electric field see these are the dimension these are the dimension Height of the fin is 20, like thickness is 10, gate oxide thickness is 1.5, and bio oxide thickness is 60 nanometer, and the gate length is 30 nanometer. See, the gate length is 30 nanometer means what? This is the whole length, like L1 plus L2 is equal to 30 nanometer. That means your L1 is equal to, in the DMG device, L1 equal to L2 is equal to simply 15, we have considered. Similarly, in the TMG, we have considered L1, L2 is equal to your, L3 is equal to your simply 10 nanometer. The total length is equal to simply 30 nanometer. And this figure is the horizontal electric field. As you can see, the horizontal electric field is less in case of the triple material grade device compared to your DMG, that means dual material or conventional, that means SMG device. And due to having the less electric field, horizontal electric field, we can accept, we can uh, I mean say that the hot air effect that means hot care effect is better in case of the your DMG or the TMG device compared to the conventional FinFET devices. See, this is the observation that we have uh, before doing the analytical modeling that we have observed from the ticket simulator. That we have observed from the ticket simulator. See, next we will uh, we'll discuss the analytical modeling of the electrical parameter in the DMG and the TMG FinFET. See, this is the uh, structure of the first will discuss the your DMG FinFET. The similar way we can do the analytical modeling of the TMG FinFET also. If we will discuss in details about the DMG FinFET, then easily you will get the your TMG FinFET uh, means uh, analytical modeling. How you have to proceed. See, this is the your um, 3D view of the DMG FinFET, and this is the whatever the front view of the front view of the your DMG FinFET. See, whatever the structure is there, we have divided it into 
whatever the DMG input is there, it is separated into your asymmetric DMDG and symmetric DMDG, DMDG MOSFET. See, asymmetric DMDG means what again? DMDG means dual material double gate. Dual material double gate, asymmetric and the, uh, your dual material double gate, symmetric MOSFET. See, this is the asymmetric and this is the asymmetric. Because in this case, whatever the your white is symmetric, because in this case, whatever the oxide thickness is there, this is your symmetric. Similarly, whatever the arc function, like the gate metal, which is also uh, present in the, both the front gate and the back gate. And in this case, this is your top gate is present. There is no back gate. And this is the your this is the like your conventional MOSFET only. This is the your like the conventional MOSFET only. What we did, we have divided the three D structure into two different two D structure. One is asymmetric gate that we consider. In this case, only top gate is present, and in this case, only your uh, side gate and that means the front and the back gate are present in the asymmetric case. Next, what we did, we have applied the parameter weighted method to find out the your surface potential modeling of the DMG input. See, this is the technique. We divide the structure into two different, your gate, two different DMDG MOSFET. And this is this, uh, this are the material, the silicon is the your thin, and the SiO2 is the whatever your gate di uh, dielectric, and these are the work function that we have considered. See, these are the assumptions that we have considered during the analytical modeling. We have not considered any your mobile charts in the model. Similarly, in the no tap charge is also account during the analytical modeling, and we have not considered no immobile charge in the gate dielectric, no gate leakage current as we, in the short chain electric you may have you may have already studied the leakage current, the gate leakage current that also not considered in the analytical modeling. Similarly, the source chain and the drain channel depletion region. As you know, that there will be some depletion region also there that also we have not considered. And the surface potential at the source and the drain are constant that we have considered is equal to a Fermi, Fermi potential of the two region. Like that, at the source side, whatever the Fermi potential, that is the your uh, surface potential only. Similarly, at the drain side, what is the your Fermi potential? That is the your surface potential only. See, these are the assumption during the analytical model. So next, what we did, we have uh, solved this uh, DMDG MOSFET uh, and we solved the your Poisson's equation, 2D Poisson's equation of the DMDG MOSFET. Okay. See, this is the, as you know, this is the 2D structure. And as you can see, the asymmetric case only your asymmetric case, this Y and the Z are there. That is why uh, this uh, this is the 3D structure, both the coordinate x, y, z are there. But in this case, the coordinate y and the z are there. Similarly, symmetric, both the x and the z are there. That's why in the asymmetric case, we have considered the, this is the, your Poisson situation uh, in terms of, of the y and the z coordinate. And this is the corresponding Poisson equation. Next, we have, we have considered this are the boundary condition. See, when you are applying the any means when you are solving this any poisons or the Laplace equation, then you have to apply appropriate boundary condition. See, like this, in this case, uh, these are the boundary condition that you have considered. That you have considered. See, in this case, as you can see, uh, there are high one and the phi two, high one and the phi two. These are the potential under your metal M one and the M two respectively, and as you can see, this del phi 1 by del y, y equal to 0, this means this position. This means this position under the metal 1. See, this is the origin. This is the origin under the metal 1, and which is equal to this phi s1 minus vds by p ox. That means the electric field at that region is on uh, your, whatever the your continuity equation that we have applied, that's it. So like this, uh, your similarly have applied the, uh, your continuity equation in the your uh, under the metal two also del phi two. So like this, your similarly you can uh, whatever the that is for uh, between the what that is for between the your this uh, oxide this oxide above oxide and this silicon body. Similarly, you can apply this also. You can consider 
this is also one uh, uh, means this box also you can consider and you apply the boundary condition that means this uh, del phi 1 by your del y by y equal to h spin is equal to simply this see this b subset means whatever the potential you apply to the subset but in this case it is equal to simply zero because uh, we have not considered any means uh, uh, we have not considered any voltage to the subset okay see like this this is also uh, this is another under the metal too see these are the uh, these are the whatever the uh, your uh, means uh, continuity equation that we have applied like this Similarly, uh, see this phi 1 uh, 0 L1 equal to phi 2 0 L2. See, this is what this is the your whatever the potential is there between the your at this region between the junction of the M1 and the M2, they are equal. Whatever the potential is there between the your uh, means those are continuous between the your M1 and the M2. That's why the junction of the M1 and the M2 potentials are same. Next. We can consider this electric field, whatever the electric field is there, your under the your uh, your M1 and the M2 between the region, your which at the junction of the M1 and the M2, though that is also equal. See this one, that means like the potential, the potential are equal. Similarly, the electric field also equal between the junction M1 and the M2. So next, what you did? Uh, this uh, the phi one zero zero. Phi 1 0 0 means what? This this region. Phi 1 0 0 means what? This means this origin only. That means the junction between source and the channel. Is it or not? That is means junction between the source and the channel. As you can see, the whatever the potential, that is equal to simply the built-in potential. As already we have made the assumption that the surface potential potential at the source and the then is simply the Fermi potential. So like this, the this phi 1 0 0, that means at the junction of the source and the channel this is equal to simply v b i like this uh, the your phi 2 at uh, at the junction of the channel and the den that means 0 comma l1 plus l2 is equal to v b i plus your vgs that is at the junction at the junction that means the junction between channel and the den at the junction whatever the potential you are getting that is equal to simply v b i that is built-in potential plus your built-in potential plus your what your uh, VDS because you are applying some potential at the that's because you are applying some potential at the den bias also. That's what the uh, as you have made the assumption that surface potential at the channel and the uh, sorry the surface potential at the channel at the junction between source and the cha your channel and the den and the channel are equal and accordingly we have considered VBI at the source side and at the den side simply your VBI plus VDS. See, these are the various parameters that we have considered in the boundary condition, but the phi 1 and the phi 2 are the potential under the your M1 and the M2 respectively, and Q is the electronic charge. Similarly, your epsilon SI and the epsilon ox, those are the your dielectric connection of the silicon and the SiO2 respectively. And the NA is the doping concentration in the channel, whatever the doping that you have considered. And phi S1 and the phi S2 are the surface potential under M1 and the M2, respectively. And phi B is the your whatever the potential at the backside oxide and silicon interface. Similarly, VDS is the your dense surface uh, source to dense potential, and VDI is the built-in potential. And VGS one dash that you have mentioned in the uh, boundary condition VGS1 dash or the VGS2 dash. VGS1 dash is equal to simply VGS minus VRB, VRB1, uh, VRB1, that means for this uh, uh, number, for this metal one and front base. Like this, VFB, VGS2 is equal to VGS minus VFB F. Similarly, this is the VSA. And these are the VGS VSA, these are the gate two source and the surface voltage. See, subset for this is equal to zero in this case. Similarly, phi FB one F and the phi FB two are the front channel, uh, front channel pattern potential for M one and the M two respectively. And phi FB F is the back channel flat band voltage. And this flat band voltage, this VFB one is equal to phi M one minus your phi S. Similarly, VFB two is your phi M two minus your phi S. Uh, phi m1 and the phi m2 are the what work function of the 
metal one and the metal two respectively and phi s is the work function of the pure silicon that means whatever the channel material that we have considered so next we have assumed that we have assumed that this uh, the potential potential is parable we have assumed that the potential in the vertical direction that means this y direction this is the part of the potential that we got we have assumed that this is the one parabolic equation and as a result we have considered this is the your potential in the vertical y direction is this one so next we have applied the appropriate boundary condition we have applied the appropriate boundary condition to find out the potential under m1 and m2 for asymmetric case and after solving it we got this is the corresponding expression for the your potential that means surface potential under m1 and the m2 for this symmetric dm dg mosfet similarly uh, similarly we apply the similar technique to find out the potential under m1 and the m2 for the symmetric case and we got this is the expression for the symmetric case this equation number 13 and the 14 represents the surface potential for the symmetric case mm, under m1 and the m2 respectively so next what we did we have uh, we next we have to find out the ultimately the total post potential distribution in the dmg filter like this we have applied the perimeter weighted method and uh, we have applied the perimeter weighted method and we have considered the phi one that means phi one xyz this is the 3d device that's what xyz is there and phi one is equal to simply p12 plus this is for asymmetric case uh, p12 uh, plus phi asm yz plus p30 your mm, phi asm fj so like this uh, similarly for sim your phi 2 phi 2 also we find out by applying this uh, by taking the combination of this phi asm2 and the phi asm2 and this p12 is equal to simply for psi that means psi by psi plus 2 of 2 into height of the pin plus your and p13 is equal to simply your 2 into height of the pin 2 into height of the pin by your psi uh, plus 2 2 into height of the pin that means this is the your whatever the thickness is there that one you have to consider as the numerator for p12 and this method whatever the method that you apply this is called your perimeter weighted method because you have consider this uh, what was the that means the your thickness and the height of the pin is there that's what it is your perimeter weighted method and we got the potential of the dmg filter like this under the your m1 and the m2 next we have to find out the minimum potential as you know how you can find out the minimum potential because the minimum potential this is very important factor to find out the other parameter like the threshold voltage or the your subthreshold swing see what i did we have taken the derivative we have taken the derivative of this phi uh, 1 and the phi 2 and we have find out the minimum potential for the symmetric case is this formula that means equation number 16 and the your sorry asymmetric case the equation number 16 and symmetric case dm dm dg mosfet is your equation number 17 and that is for dm dg filter we apply this perimeter weighted method and we got this minimum potential is equal to simply this equation number 18 that means phi s minimum is equal to your p12 into phi your asymmetric minimum potential plus p13 phi symmetric minimum potential so like this what we did Uh, next, we have find out the your subtraction swing. The subtraction swing. This is an established formula. And as you can see, whatever the your concentration is, the N M. This N M. It is the function of the minimum potential. We put this minimum potential formula here, and we got the expression for the your subtraction swing also. So like this. Next, we have what we did. We have find out the threshold voltage finally. in the multicate device normally the threshold voltage uh, you can extract from the simulator like the your um, constant voltage method or sorry the constant dentine method or the your maximum transconductance method but in the multicate device the threshold voltage is what it is the your gate voltage for the minimum charge density that means the this q inverse is equal to simply the threshold charge that means this special charge that you have to taken from the that you have to find out from the simulator and this inversion charge this inversion charge is equal to this formula 
and in this case this is the function of the minimum potential and ultimately we got the your uh, threshold voltage formula of the dmg input is like this vt is equal to this formula or vtha and vths are the threshold voltage for asymmetric and symmetric your case respectively and how we find out this vth See, for QTS, what we did, we have find out the multiple, we have done the multiple simulation. We have done the multiple simulation of this DMG pin fed by varying the your various dimensions, like the thickness of the your oxide or the channel length or the channel width, like this. We have varied the multiple, we have done the multiple simulation and we have uh, find out the charge from the ticket simulator and we take the average of this and we got the threshold charge is equal to this one and ultimately by applying this we got this is the your special voltage formula so next you can uh, we have uh, done the your the whatever the model that we got that we have done the uh, matching with the simulation result as you can see this is the your electric field plot so the electric field how you got the model for electric field by simply taking the your as you know e equal to what simply minus d derivative of your potential like this only we got the electric field plot as you can see the dmg field plot, it shows the better matching it shows the better matching with the analytical data and the due to having the better your grid control or due to having the better uh, your characteristics the electric field that means this is the your later electric field it is less in case of the dmg field plot compared to the your single material gate field plot. it is seen from the figure six See, this is the surface potential, whatever the model we got, we have shown for two different channel length, L equal to 30 and the 40. And these are the other parameters are constant. The work function value is phi m1 is equal to 4.77, phi m2 is equal to 4.1 electron volt. See, in the both the case, we have changed the your VGS, that means so potential between source to drain, your from 0.5 to 0.8. But as you can see, when you increase the your uh, potential at the uh, between the source to drain, there is no significant change of the your minimum potential. As you can see, the minimum potential under the M1 for the both the case, there is no significant changes. That is, you can say this device has better short channel effect even the your thin, whatever the DMG thin fit analytical modeling, it has a better short channel effect compared to the your single material grade device or it has the better short channel effect or the hot channel effect also because this potential minimum potential not changes by significant amount similarly uh, another observer uh, means uh, this is one observation that uh, and you can see this analytical data see in this case whatever the line line simply the simulated data and this symbol is the model data the analytical data shows the good agreement with the whatever the your we have data obtained from the ticket simulator. That means our model is valid, validated the, with the simulated data. See, like this, this is for two different channel material. Next, we have, uh, we have plotted the minimum potential also. As you can see, the minimum potential also shows the better matching. The minimum potential in the figure 8K is shown as a function of the what your, uh, as a function of the thickness of the channel thickness of the pin by varying the gate length. As you can see, if you increase the gate length, the minimum potential reduces for various your thickness of the pin. Because if you increase the gate length, the potential reduces, that's what the minimum potential also reduces. However, if you increase the thickness of the channel, the whatever the potential is, the surface potential, it will improves. That means it increases, that's what the minimum potential also increases. And this is the minimum potential versus del W. So del W means what? Simply the phi M1 minus phi M2. So phi M1 minus phi M2. Where phi M2 is, we have kept the, we have fixed the value of the phi M2, which is equal to simply 4.1 electron volt. 4.1 electron volt and the phi M1, which is, uh, we have varied the value of the phi M1. And this del W, we have, we have considered like this 0.25 or 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 like this. And it is seen that as the del W increases, see del W increases means what? Your uh, del W increases means what? High M1 increases. 
if five m1 increases the minimum potential also reduces that's what uh, the potential reduces that's what the minimum potential also re reduces in this case and the model uh, is a model is uh, shows the agreement with the simulated data this is the your subspecial swing and plot by taking your for various channel length and the your del w del w as you know phi m1 minus phi m2 in this case as you can see we have considered three different position in the channel see the, we have find uh, we have find out the leak your leakage path that means the leakage time is present in the channel with minimum source barrier that point you have find out and in this respect we have considered this three different position we have shown here three different although we have considered the various position but in, the, in this plot we have shown the three different position like one is why you know, the position at the height of the channel of your 0.25 of the height of the pin like 0.5 and the 0.75 of the height of the pin and it is seen that the uh, analytical modeling is better shows the better matching with the your simulated data for when yc that means when we consider the leakage part is present at 0.5 of height of the pin and in, as you can see from both the plot of the your substantial swing and it is seen that the your as the channel length increases the substantial swing reduces because of the improvement in the short channel effect okay so like this this is the uh, your uh, ss versus your del w plot and this is, it also shows the better matching with the analytical data and it is seen that as the your work del w increases because phi m1 increases the substantial swing is degraded so like this we have shown the threshold voltage model also and the threshold voltage model also we have considered the leakage path and it is seen that the threshold voltage also shows the better matching with the your analytical data and in this case you can see for for means small channel length there is the roll up is more however if you consider the means the from the channel length around 45 to 60 the roll up in the threshold voltage is very less compared to the your channel length of your this uh, 18 to your 30 nanometer and this is the your threshold voltage versus work function difference plot the model shows the better agreement with the your analytical data see this is all about the see this is all about what this is all about the whatever we have discussed this is all about the your analytical modeling of the your dual material gate printed device and as you can see uh, we have applied what we did we have applied the parameter weighted method Initially, what we did, we have means uh, divide the structure into symmetric and the asymmetric gate, and we have applied the parameter weighted method. And after getting the your surface potential, we can we have derived the other parameter like the threshold for the substantial swing and the minimum potential. See, in this end, it is seen that whatever the model data that we have obtained from the analytical modeling, it shows the better agreement with the simulated data. So next, what we did. We have uh, similarly in the similar way, we have done the analytical modeling of the triple material gate printhead also. See, in the triple material gate printhead, like this, like the previous case, this TMG printhead we divide it into, uh, we divide it into what? Two, two different TMDG symmetric and the asymmetric MOSFET. See, TMDG means what? Triple material double gate. TMDG means what? Simply the triple material double gate. MOSFET under the symmetric and the asymmetric case. In this case, the boundary condition again increases. There will be more boundary condition because in this case, as you can see, there will be three potentials like phi 1, phi 2, and the phi 3 for metal M1, M2, and the M3. Similarly, you will get again two junctions, one between the M1 and the one between the M1 and the M2, another will be in between the your M2 and the M3. Like this, in this case, we have to apply to some more boundary condition solve to find out the your surface potential modeling for the triple material gate printhead. So whatever we have discussed for the your dual material gate printhead, in similar way, you have to apply, means you have to apply those techniques to find out the analytical modeling of the triple material gate printhead. But in this case, of course, there are three material, that means you have to consider more boundary condition.
See, this is a two different structure that we have uh, means uh, we have to solve in like the previous case only. So the analytical, even the whatever the equations that we have discussed, similar only. But in this case, the as you can see, the boundary condition this will be more like this one will become phi three also. Similarly, one will uh, here uh, one will be what phi one equal to phi two. Similarly, your phi two is equal to phi three also. Similarly, your del phi two is equal to phi three also will be here. So those are the boundary condition that you have to consider. But this uh, the mathematical expression that I have not shown here for the triple material jet thing. But you can apply the similar technique. And it is seen that like the previous case, this seen that the electric field, the electric field it shows a better matching for this uh, triple material jet thing compared to the your uh, electric field it shows a better matching. Uh, it means uh, analytical modeling shows a better matching with the your simulated data so like this we have shown the your uh, whatever the surface potential for two different channel length allocated 30 and the 21 nanometer and as you can see if you increase the gain to source bias from 0 0.5 to 1.2 volt the minimum potential which is present under the m1 for both the cases not changes by significant amount it is very insignificant changes in the minimum potential and due to, having, uh, due to having less change in the uh, minimum potential, it shows the better your short channel effect or better electrical characteristics compared to the other, whatever the compared to the conventional or the DMG device also. So similarly, this is the, your minimum potential. The explanation is similar to the previous case only. As you can see, in this case also, as the gate length increases, the minimum potential reduces Similarly, with increasing the thickness of the your film, the minimum potential increases because of the increase in the your because of the increase in the your surface potential. And this is the minimum potential versus your del W, like the previous case also, it shows the better agreement with the analytical data. So in this case, del W means simply phi m1 minus your phi m2. You have keeps the value of your phi m3. Only we have changed the phi m1 only. Because phi m1 is the main means factor, which is because it is present near the your, which is present below the your minimum potential, and by changing it, we have seen that if we increase the phi m1, the minimum potential reduces. That's why the minimum potential also reduces. Similarly, this is the threshold voltage plot of the TMG filters, and like this, in this case also we have find the three three decays path, and we have seen that at YC is equal to like this 0.25 height of the pin, it shows the better matching for the PMG pin head. And this is the your sub swing. Similarly, the sub swing it, is, it also shows the good agreement. As you can see, as the channel increases, the SS reduces because of having the better, because of having the large channel length, it leads to the better short channel effect. Similarly, it is the your SS versus del W plot, and the analytical modeling has better agreement with the simulated data as observed from the figure 16A and the B. See, this is all about the analytical modeling of the DMG and the PMG filters. Next, in the conclusion, see, in the conclusion, whatever uh, the DMG and the PMG filter, uh, it has the electrical, better electrical characteristics. One mistake is that it has the better electrical characteristics compared to the SMG printhead. And we have seen that the minimum potential, which is the basis of many analysis, is modeled and found uh, to work for wide range of channel length and the difference in the work function. And using the your leaky path concept, we have modeled the threshold voltage and the sub threshold swing. And whatever the model is there, it is validated with the ticket result for wide range of your L and the del W. And the, whatever the analytical modeling, it shows the good accuracy with the your ticket simulated result. Whatever the analytical modeling that you have shown, it shows the better agreement with the ticket simulated results. And in the future, as you can see, uh, in the there is some feature scope also there, or you can extend this work also. See, until now, we have reported the surface potential modeling. 
or also we have reported for uh, the special voltage model the still the dam kind modeling or some other psychic parameter modeling like the transconductance or the your uh, capacitance modeling those is not yet developed we can carry out some work that means you can develop the analytical modeling of the dam kind or the transconductance to further that means you can uh, do some research in this area similarly we have whatever the uh, means uh, thickness or whatever the dimension or whatever the analytical modeling that we have done for classical case we have not considered the quantum case that is we have not considered the your dimension like this the less than 5 nanometer whatever like this uh, if we consider the quantum case because nowadays again we have to shift to the quantum modeling also because when the device dimension is very less then at that time this classical model may not valid yeah, we have to shift to the quantum modeling also that means the uh, further research can be carried out by doing the quantum modeling of this electrical parameter in the dmg and the tng thing that means by applying this uh, by in this case also we have consider on the poisson situation if we means embed the poisson situation with the schrodinger situation if we means uh, combine those uh, poisson situation with the schrodinger situation then you can do the quantum modeling of this dmg and the tmg synthesis and whatever the compact modeling of the dn dmg and the tmg it may be useful for the packaging in the very low sk so as i uh, as i have told in the initial that this modeling importance we can apply this modeling for the circuit analysis that means if you write the very low sk you can do some further research in the circuit area also see these are the uh, various differences that we have considered in order uh, to carry out this work okay then thank you and thank you all and see these are the whatever the analytic modeling we have discussed this all or uh, these are the published work this is the published work in the 3d analytical modeling of potential special volts and the subtracial swing in the dmg sy printers this is the published work which is published in journal of computational electronics you can go through this uh, uh, journal paper you will get details you will get details about the analytical model whatever i have shown that is shown in short in details it is mentioned in this published paper this is for analytical modeling of the dmg synthesis you can go through this paper it is published in the journal of computational electronics okay this is the uh, your one paper this is your for your dmg synthesis similarly another one is there that is for your tmg this is the journal of computational electronics similarly another one is there this is uh, international journal of electronics which is published in international journal of electronics and here the analytical modeling is shown for the tmg synthesis that the analytical modeling is shown for the tmg synthesis you can go through this paper to get the details these are the means uh, the various as you can as i have told you have to consider the three different you have to consider the three different potential in the boundary condition like phi 1 phi 2 and the phi 3 that means the number of boundary condition also increases similarly this phi 1 is equal to phi 2 similarly phi 2 is equal to phi 3 like this the electric field also equal del phi 1 equal to phi 2 del phi 2 and similarly del phi 2 by del z is equal to del phi 3 by del z so like this you can go through this paper to get the more details various coefficients are also mentioned in details in this two papers and you'll get more details about the your dmg and the tmg synthesis analytical modeling and you can do some further research in this area. okay thank you all have you any query anyone yeah, yeah. okay okay thank you rajesh sir uh, uh, it was a quite uh, very nice presentation. I hope the participants uh, found it very useful. Any questions from the side of participants? They can please uh, inbox the question in the chat box it's, uh, themselves itself or can unmute themselves and can question. Uh, we have five minutes window, please. So uh, any questions from the participants, if any? OK. Um, uh, Ms. Hemlata has a question, uh, Saha sir, and uh, 
his uh, her sorry her question is that why the uh, work function is high for first metal and low for second metal uh, rajesh sir sir if you are able to hear me hello dr rajesh sir sir you are uh, muted please unmute yourself yes sorry see the work function of the metal one is high compared to the metal two because see the uh, as you can see the, the minimum potential is there that is present near the source that should be present near the source because the whatever the your uh, means uh, your as you can see that this works on the thermionic emission only like the mosfet the fin bit also works on the thermionic emission only and whatever the minimum uh, potential is there that should be present near the source like the your if you think about the energy band diagram the barrier whatever the barrier is there the barrier with that is near the your short channel junction that's what the if you take the high work function then that your whatever the potential you will get the minimum potential at that your source region only however if you take the high work function near the drain then the device principle it will not work as your Uh, like the pin pet or pin principle that's what we have consider the high work function at the near the source and the low work function near the pin because based on the your device principle we have got the minimum potential near the your uh, near the what near the source only yes so next question is why model is name as analytical model see the model is name as analytical model because in this case um, it's Prince Kumar, in this case, what we have done, we have done the this analytical modeling means this is the based on the various mathematical model. We have we have solved what the Poisson equation, or similarly, if you consider the means Andrup channel, we have to solve the Laplace equation, and accordingly, these are the model that we have got by using some boundary condition. That's what it is the analytical model. That's what the name is your analytical modeling. Okay. Is that is there is no specific means a special sir, reason sir. for this one. Yes, sir. Saha, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, in every model, uh, there is the Poisson equation and other things. So every model is named as an electrical model, and each model carry Poisson equation boundary uh, condition to solve the solve further. Yes. Sir. So can we say <coughs> yes, every see. model is the electrical? No, actually, see that whatever the your uh, Poisson equation, the, because we solve the uh, means mathematical expression to yeah. got the electrical parameters of the device. Okay. Yeah. See, like yeah. this, uh, in this case, in the classical case, it is uh, as I have seen from the literature also. In the classical case, it is called the analytical modeling because the various mathematical model. And accordingly, we have uh, analytically you have to solve it, and it is called the that's what it is called the analytical model. However, if we go to the quantum case, that means in that case you have to consider the quantum concept also because the dimension is very thin or thickness is very low. And at that case, the you can go to the literature also. They are called it as the quantum model at that time, not the your your whatever the analytical model. They are telling it as the Quantum modeling of the your threshold voltage or some other parameter like that. So, okay. And yes, is it clear? Sir, initial assumption made for fin pet modeling can be applicable for t pet. See the t pet. Uh, yes, we can apply those uh, um, initial assumption for the t pet also. But uh, again, the one lecture is there on the t pet also analytical modeling. But uh, yes, you can apply. You can apply this concept in the Tippett also, the initial assumption. But the Tippett modeling, the surface potential modeling, someone somehow similar. But the Denkai modeling is different in the Tippett. Although I have not shown the your Denkai modeling of the fin pet, but the Tippett modeling of the Denkai is somehow different. But the surface potential modeling similar, somehow similar only. Is there any other question? Okay. Uh... Okay, participants. Any more questions? If any, uh, you can uh, again uh, 
you can actually inbox or unmute yourself and please uh, take up your question i think one question uh, one, one question, question is there asked by one of the participants that is in the comment box please check it was related to the graph yes uh, yes it's not audible for me is i not getting ah, oh, okay 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 sir no issue we can actually okay i hope there is uh, no more question okay one question uh, saha sir if you can listen me yes. um uh, they uh, there is a question from shubhangi saxena she is hmm. actually question like what is yc in the analytical graph i, oh. I think she yes, posted yes. to yc so the yc those yeah. are the means critical point that you have considered in the analytical model So the yc means simply this point so like this as you can see in this case also similarly in this case also yc means you have consider see like this this is the y is it or not in this case you can see this uh, this is the y this axis is your y we have consider three different point so although you consider the more point but in the means figure we have some the three different yc means simply the critical point that you have consider yc is equal to sometimes 0.25 into height of the pin like if your height of the pin is your 10 nanometer it is or something 20 nanometer then 0.25 into 20 like this yc is equal to 0.5 means 0.5 into your 20 like 10 nanometer similarly 0.75 means your 0.75 into 20 like this you have consider okay yc means simply the critical point the at the your y axis Uh, sir shubhangi here sir the same like uh, you are saying yc we have uh, taken critical points so in dmg finpet or others how to find those like critical points or boundary conditions like when we are going <coughs> to modeling so the in the uh, see in the modeling in the whatever the modeling we did we have consider only the boundary okay and we have not consider those point to point but this is one technique this is one technique in the simulator how we can match the your means this is one technique whatever the data we got from the simulator we have uh, whatever the uh, whatever the uh, means analytical expression we got we have got as a function of the y as function of the y why we got for the subthreshold swing and the threshold volt then uh, this is also one technique how we can match the model with the data that's what we have uh, varied the value of the y and we have take the value of, uh, as we know the y is the fun- y it is the height of the pin because yes. y means simply the vertical axis and we have changed the we have check for various pin height that is sometimes we have taken like for y y equal to we have taken 0.5 or 0.25 or 0.4 and we have check for multiple values and accordingly we got some at point point 5 or height of the pin we got the better matching compared to the other pin. like this we did i think you got shubhangi yes sir yes thank like you like this it could actually got the uh, model as a function of the y and accordingly we have checked it okay thank you sir got it. okay so i hope uh, i have there is no more question from the participant okay okay saha sir thank you okay, thank you very you. much thank for, you okay uh, right okay so uh, participants uh, please uh, fill the uh, feedback form for this uh, lecture 3 right which we had from 10 to 11 uh, am and uh, next the next lecture uh, uh, will be uh, from dr sunil pande sir and uh, i hope he has joined just give me a second so that i can yes i hope sunil pandey sir is there hello hello yeah yeah yes, sunil pandey sir okay sir yeah welcome sir i'm sorry it was no issue no issue sir it's okay yeah so uh, uh, participants i would like to introduce uh, uh, dr sunil pandey sir he is an analog design engineer from intel corporation india and he will be taking up the next to our session and he received his phd degree in electronics and communication engineering from triple uh, itdm jabalpur india in 2018 he is currently working as a senior design engineer at 
Intel Bangalore from the uh, past last four years. And he has published various research papers in peer reviewed journals like uh, IEEE, Elsevier, Springer, Taylor and Francis journals, etc. And uh, he is. Uh, he has also attended very reputed uh, many IEEE conferences, like Asia Pacific Conference on Circuits and Systems, in the field of electronics and communication in general. He is also the uh, reviewer with the IEEE TCAS One Test and Springer Square, and he received an international travel grant from Department of Sciences and Technology, from uh, which is aided by Government of India, to present a part of his PhD uh, research work in. Uh, Asia Pacific Conference on Circuit and System, which was held at Jeju Island in South Korea in October 2016. And uh, furthermore, I would um, like to add that he also received Young Scientist Research Award from Madhya Pradesh Council of Sciences and Technology, Bhopal, in 2013. His current area of interest are analog CMOS design, emerging devices, RFIC design, clocking architectures for high-speed service. Design and custom building blocks designed for analog IPs used in different SOCs. So I welcome you, sir. Sir, uh, thank you, ma'am. You can, uh, yeah, it's over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let me share my screen. Is it visible? Yeah, uh, no, sir, it's yet not. Uh, maybe it will take time. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's uh, going to be presented. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yes, sir, oh. it's all done. Yeah. Uh, now slides are visible? Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. Uh, uh, very good morning to all of you and especially uh, to you ma'am and uh, uh, Dr. Suman for inviting me on this prestigious uh, FDP which is conducted online. So uh, yeah, so from last four years I'm working in Intel uh, Bangalore as a senior analog design engineer where I'm focusing on this uh, in lock circuit uh, clocking architecture on this uh, uh, Cerdes and uh, and and the CPUs where it is going in the laptops. So I will not go in detail. So let's start from uh, uh, today's talk. So I will be discussing uh, uh, for this emerging fields for this analog and RF circuit applications. So what are the important things in this one and what are the future prospects? that uh, I will discuss in detail. So these are the uh, today's agenda. Uh, 